Hello folks, thanks for uh, joining us today in the beautiful Peak District as you can see. Oh hey, great to be back out. I'm here today with my good mate, Old Verney. And we're going to go on a nice hike up Grinslow Knoll and then head all the way over to Woolpacks hopefully and do a nice wild camp up there. That should be great. The weather is absolutely beautiful today. Absolutely gorgeous. We've only got one. We've got a dab on already. Already got a dabbler on. Only problem is, we've got an equipment failure already. And it's Ode Vernie's fly. Oh my no! <laughs> We might have to rig up a bit of Ramirez style and, and uh, sew it up with a bit of twine later. But um, let's look at this. It's fabulous. We've not even started yet. Woohoo! Can't wait. Me. And come on then, let's be having you. Oh, I'll get some gravy on you, mate. Me. Started the ascent. Oh dear. I wish I had a smaller breakfast now, then. I wish I'd had some breakfast. <laughs> There's a nice bit of terrain here for us, look. Sorry right for mountain goats. them sheeps I'd say hat off got a dab on look at this eh I'd bring it back on I would with this sweet head and the receding it a couple of years I've not done it yet <laughs> I'm camping over there look then yeah. just down there valley you see that over there yeah. Did you hear about uh, that bloke come up to me? Comes up to me the other day and he says, uh, All right, mate, I'm a teepee, I'm a wigwam, teepee, I'm a wigwam. I says, Relax, mate, you're too tense. Get worse. <laughs> Water break over. I'm going to put camera away for a while because we've got that. Can't wait. Yep. We're only halfway up. What a view. Up. Over onto Brown Knoll. Over onto Kinder. Edel Rock. Buzzing. Buzzing, mate. 
we've still got to climb up that yet. Just over halfway up. Look at that, tranquil snapping territory. And there we go. Bit of a false summit there. Focus. Focus. It's better. Bit of a false summit there. Just there. You carry on walking another 100, 200 yards. Crackered, mate. What about you, Oliver? Can't wait to get up there, get the tent up and get some food on. Oh, yes. Full English and what? Beer. You name it. Oh, this is brutal. Especially for a chubber like me. Oh, this fell over accidentally on purpose. Ankle's gone up full summit, oh dear. Right then, Vern, where are we going? So, from here we're going to head our way around to the Bags. We're going to find somewhere to pitch up there for the night. Lovely. Can't wait, need some food. Yes, that's right. And a nice coffee. Yeah. We're stopping for a bit march. Have a fun jack each. Lovely. <laughs> well, we're about halfway now. Just gonna walk along there. Should take us about an hour, half an hour. Then we'll get set up. Plenty of this up here. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, well. I went on about you, but okay then mate, yeah, yeah, you, you're on. <laughs> bit windy up here. But I'll tell you what, look at this. <laughs> have to recover that. Send boys in to recover that, look at that. Dirty cretins. Beer bottles under there. Vile behaviour. We're going to get over there, up there, and hopefully find a camping spot for another. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful.
接手，会，给他先吃。We're in. We're all set. Yes, mate. There's plenty of We're a bit difficult setting that up in the wind, like Shant too. Happy or what? We got there in there. Up, cracking little tent that. Especially if you just get in. You can't grumble with it. Come on. It's a bit cold now. Go back to you anyway when we've um, got set up. Got us better set up and everything. Right then folks, we're all set up. Got the sleeping bag set up and everything. Don't worry about that mess, I'll sort that later. Unfortunately, probably can't see. I've pitched up in like a crevasse down there. That's right, I'll live. Anyway, stove's on. 
coffee soon. And I'm going to try one of these pasta and meatballs that Vern's made. His missus got him a dehydrator. And uh, they look really good to be fair, these meals he's made, so I'm going to get all that sort Right then, she's boiling. Let's have a look what Vern's uh, prepared for us then. Okay. <coughs> Is the oxygen absorbers in these, Vern? No. No? Not to be fair, that looks spot on. You probably can't see, like, oh. Hang on. Let's have a look here, look. Let's have a look. Where are we? Hey, there. Looks alright to be fair. Just dry pasta and tomato sauce with meatballs. Put the back over here. I need to do something about this lighting situation in here. <coughs> Right, anyway, I'm going to stick some water in this. I think I've put about a cup full in there, so... Give that a seal. Give that a bit of a shake up. That seal up. Let that rehydrate. Got a coffee on. Right then, pasta's done. Let's get this light to fear and let you have a look. Pasta and meatballs. So, let's give this a shot then. Great windy. Tom. That's what you want, look. Nice warm food in you. Spot on, mate. I'm going to finish this off. Right then, folks. We didn't manage to get two wool packs. 
we're uh, quite close to it. So basically, we parked down here in Barber Booth, walked over these farmers' fields here, all the way up here, <coughs> got on the Pennine Way, walked along there a short distance, up Broadlee Bank. Climbed up there, that's that quite steep hill that we went up. Up this path here, up to Grinslow Knoll, and then we took a left up here. Walked along this path all the way here, past Druid Stone. Went down into that little clough. Climbed up back out. We camped here. The Crowden Tower. So we didn't quite make it, but um, the light was fading on us, and uh, we didn't really want to be. Pitching up in dark, it's no fun with it being as windy as it is. Anyway. Right, just had my pasta meal, my chocolate pudding, courtesy of Vern. Alright, to be fair, it's done a good job, tasted nice, spot on. I had a nice coffee, that was good. Just been outside, took some. Some good shots hopefully. It's ever so cloudy at the moment and unfortunately I couldn't get a sunset. We're a bit of luck, I might get a sunrise or a cloudy version or something, we'll see. I finally sorted my lighting situation out. I uh, got my torch out, my bag that's a lot better like this, isn't it? So it should be a lot better. Um I'm going to get my bag soon because it's Baltic out here it's saying minus one on Met Office and I've looked on my team weather and it's saying there's severe wind to affect it just with the ears my hands are absolutely freezing I wish I put gloves on when I went that way. it feels like minus six so uh, yeah we're in for a good night it sounds of it it's windy, it's flappy, it's crazy I've not got no earplugs, but oh well, we're in heaven aren't we, so we'll be alright, as long as this tent stay up. Right then guys, I'm going to bed down, I'll uh, put them shots on now so you can see what it's like outside, it's still amazing. I, I wish I could spend more time out there, but it's just too cold. Right, cheers, see you in the morning, bye. I just had to pop out and re-peg this guy line out on the back. It's a bit windy, this is. Just check Met Office, 40 mile an hour gusts. So it's a, probably at least 50 up here. In a tent that's not well known to uh, stand up too well. <laughs> Squeaky bum time! <laughs> Burn's still awake in his fox. Says he keeps bending his pop holes. So, uh, yeah. 
hopefully we'll last through tonight and your seals in morning and everything's all right. If not, then uh, well. 12 o'clock. And it's, uh, it's just impossible to sleep in this. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have pitched in this exposed spot. We thought, oh yeah, it'd be brilliant. Doors in morning, and we'll have a cracking view. Now look what I'm dealing with. Not much fun this in. Look at this, look at me walking pole here. <laughs> it's a bit lopsided. <laughs> Sleep tonight. I've just had a brew. Try and get warmed up a bit. Been out a couple of times to check road guy rooms. I can say one failed on here. Had to re peg it out. He's doing all right though in his in his box too. Good tent though. See you later. About two o'clock now, and uh, the tent just collapsed on me basically. I rolled in, leaving my sleeping bag holding onto it for dear life. Wind pulled about three pegs out on this front at the same time. 
I just luckily my mate heard me straight away. I just shouted him and he old Vernie just jumped out and helped me get back back down again. I've had to drop this front end. We're right low to the ground because I'm worried about wind grabbing it and ripping it up again and ripping all the pegs out like it did before. I was just falling asleep as well. Ah, crackers. I'm gonna get a brew. Try and get myself warmed up. Half past six now. Which could say good morning, but it's not. I've just got to drop this tent and get out of here. It's mad. It's just fucking stupid. I've got a massive. Just got to get out of here. It's... If I don't pack, a... pack away soon, I'm not going to have a tent left to pack away. This might be part of the reason why. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.